Back to the exercise 4.19 quadrant asks us to write a static method called quadrant. So we're going to be in here, have a public static. We will be returning an integer. We'll get to that in a second. Its name is quadrant. And then we are going to have parameters, a pair of real numbers representing an X and a Y. So we can come in here and write double X and double Y. And this is going to be our method header. So there's a few things that we need to do. We see that we have four quadrants here, so we will have four kind of different cases to take care of this. Now, there is a little bit shorter way to write this, but I'm going to write it in a way that would yield about the same runtime and it would make a little bit not more sense, but it's a great way to really visualize it. So if we have the first statement, and we're going to actually do five different things. Um, we can see that we have quadrants one, two, three, four. We also have a zero one right here. And that is when, right here, that the quadrant is determined x, y, positive x numbers. If a point falls on the x axis or the y axis, which is what this is, our method should return zero. So in this if statement, we need to see if our x or our y is on the, or if our, if our values pass in or on the x or y axis. Well, if we were it to be on the X or if it were to be on the Y axis, our X would have to be zero. So we're going to write X is equal to zero or our X can be equal to our 3.14, which we know to be pi or our Y can be equal to 4.71. And I believe that's like, uh, if we can bring up a calculator, we'll see that if we want like 90 degrees, that would be pi over two. So we can input our pi divided by two. This will give us actually 1.57. So inside of here, we should have 1.57. So that will be on the Y axis. And then lower, we'll have a three times pi divided by, oh wait, actually this, pi times three divided by two gives us approximately 4.71. So that's what that was. So we're gonna have also, or if y is equal to 4.71, we are going to be inside of this if statement. And I'm gonna use just brackets just because it's a little bit cleaner. And if we're in this if statement, we know we are going to return zero. Now there's a few other things we can do. So if, our uh, x is greater than zero. We know we need to be in either quadrant one or quadrant two. This is gonna depend on our y. Or, I'm sorry, if our x is greater than zero, that means it's gonna be to the right and then we know we need to be in quadrant one or four. So we will be in an if statement here and we will have sub if statements. So if our y is greater than zero, that means we need to be in quadrant one. So we're just going to return one. Also put brackets here. Now also, if our uh, y is less than the, if it's a negative, we are going to be in quadrant four. So we are going to be in this else statement and we are just going to return four. Otherwise, um, we can fall into an else if. So I'm going to end this, we'll have else if, and this is if our x is less than zero. We could just do an else statement, which will catch it all, but I like to really show when I'm writing. So if our X is less than zero, that means we're going to be in quadrant two or quadrant three. And we're going to have basically the same thing here. If our Y is greater than zero, we're going to be in quadrant two. So we would return two. otherwise we're going to be in quadrant three. And that's all for that. We can close this off and then close our function. We are missing a return statement. Um, and that is because we have an else if here. We need some kind of else, some, some kind of statement that's going to return no matter what. So I'll just take this if out, put it in a comment so we know what we're still doing. We can click submit. Pass six out of seven tests, but not all the tests. And that's because our Y can also be on the zero axis. We can say that we have an or X is equal to 1.57 or X is equal to 4.71. And then we can come in here. We would say, or our uh, y is equal to zero, or 
y is equal to 1.57. And then, well, 3.4, if we were to say consistent, would be right in here. So we can say y is equal to 3.14. And then if we want, we can move this to here, quick submit. Uh, we have all the cases taken care of. We've passed seven out of seven tests. And that's how we would go about looking at 4.19 quadrant and solving for this code.